Saray Avery embodies Kiwi ingenuity. He's a prolific scientist and inventor. Sir Avery, this is Ashley Vance. He made a fortune in the pharmaceutical industry and then decided to dedicate his life to helping the world's poorest people. Hence, the Sir. All right, this way. It's a cool house. Right, this is the magic wardrobe. I followed Sir Avery through a wardrobe door into his garage slash lab where he creates his objects. I noticed everything in the house is white and you're wearing white. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm a bit like Steve Jobs. I have two dresses. I have black for winter and white for summer. But the thing is that I know that I've got 4,795 days left to live. How do you know that? Well, because I've done an algorithm analysis of somebody my age, born at my time, how much Chardonnay I drink, all that sort of shit. So I know what I'm going to do with the next 10 years of my life. Failure is um, really just for people who are unprepared. You don't waste time on things that aren't going to get you to where you need to go. Things like clothes. Sir Avery is well known for taking complicated medical devices and making them simple, cheap, and durable. Did you make this in here? Yeah, yeah. In, yeah this yeah, is your yeah. workshop, yeah, lab, yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Currently, he's working on this incubator. It's really is a life pot because it's almost like you know something that um, Superman would be happy to be in. And the shape of it uh, is really much more about getting even air distribution and trying to make it look cool. The life pod costs two thousand dollars versus forty thousand dollars for typical incubators. The hope is that it could save thousands of lives each year. I'll show you, this is really cool. And this is... Oh my God. <laughs> and it's just pretty, pretty, pretty ugly. He also has this giant block of frozen chicken slurry as a way to amplify the nutritional value of trash meat. So that's after Kentucky Fried have taken all their bits, the legs and the chest meat, and they make it into this stuff. Mmm, chicken slurry. So let's have a spoonful uh, of that later. Saravi mixes the trash meat with, of all things, kiwi. This breaks it down into the basic amino acids so your body can absorb the nutrients more easily. It's aimed at helping malnourished children. If you take that, then you're going to get instant energy. You don't need to digest it. It goes straight across your gut. This will save millions and millions of kids' lives. You know, Einstein said the most elegant solution is always the most simplest. And Kiwis have that, a very practical way of doing things. If you take away the noise that you have often with things like Silicon Valley and you just have a bunch of guys in sheds with a lathe and a few bits and pieces, they come up with stuff that nobody else has thought of. 